this guy's kind of got a mountaineer thing going on, which is sort of funny. So he's got the head coming down with the neck, you know, kind of a two part center line because the sort of the hips are tucked forward a little bit. And then it's got the weight bearing leg kind of coming out there. Um, got some crampons on and everything. And then the other leg is kind of going out, down, and then the foot is heavily bent, right? The angle of that is super sharp. Um, so you want to emphasize that stretch right here. Um, when you go in and put the put the rib cage in, you know the the sort of bean form from uh, from Glenn Vilpe is going to be super useful here, and you can wrap the shirt around it. Right, um, his arm is going to go here, and he's got this axe like he's one of the one of the seven dwarves or something, or a pick rather. So, everything we want to do from here on out is going to emphasize this basic motion, which is this. And so the more silly and more fun you can have with that, the better off you are. Um, and the more exaggerated that motion is, the better off the end product is going to be. Um, so you want a little, you definitely want some hunch to the back. He's not quite this hunched, right, in the actual photo reference, but we can we can overdo that so um, so we make it more interesting and more clear. Yeah, there we go. Um, then we can find then we can find some things to emphasize the form, some lines to kind of wrap around with the um, with the fabric and everything, and then we can go in and kind of emphasize this with the leg. And he has this huge boot on, and we kind of want to emphasize how how large the boot is, um, how kind of just ridiculously big it is. Um, so it seems just kind of a little bit more heightened, right? We're going to also include some overlap too. That helps. So we've got a pretty good sketch of this sort of mountaineer guy going on. And he's got sunglasses, which you can kind of box out. Add the nose, add the mouth, chin, and you basically got a pretty decent mountaineer guy going on at this point. Um, definitely kind of funny, definitely kind of silly, but you know you're you're exaggerating. Um, you're trying to make things real clear. When you get that other arm in there, it's going to make a lot more sense, right? Um, and then you can do some things like you can um, broaden the shoulders, you can bring the shoulders up a little bit more to kind of have it make a little bit more sense. You can add some hair up to make the head a little bit bigger. Make that make a little more sense. And so on. So that's another um, part of the process that I think is really critical is just picking up on that attitude and that motion. And if you're doing um, sort of like, if you're in more of the entertainment industries um, or want to go that direction with it, I think, you know, getting that, that motion and attitude is in some ways even more important than proportions or anything else is you're trying to get 
you're trying to get a feel across really quickly and really clearly. And so focusing on motion is going to help you um, greatly with that.